Hello, welcome back to another episode of our look at Starbound Nightly Builds as we march towards 1.0. Today we're going to look at Fluffalo, raising little pets that we can then harvest for raw material, believe it or not. And we're also going to have a look at mannequins, another funny little thing that I've added quite recently. Okay, so Fluffalos then. Right, for this you need Fluffalo eggs. And where do you get eggs? At the Terra Mart, of course, at the outpost. However, um, it's currently closed because I haven't, um, was that, that's not been enabled yet. However, by complete stroke of luck, there happens to be another branch right here. Um, this is not, um, this is not normally allowed, but shush. Um, if you look, have a look at what she's got to sell, um, at the top here, a Fluffalo egg. That's the first thing you'll need. So you get as many of those as you want, probably just a, a handful. Um, and you also need, if you're going to turn a fluffalo into a big fluffalo, you also need some of this food. Um, acorns, berries, figs, eggplants, and pears. Each one of these, when you feed it to a baby fluffalo, will grow up to be a different kind. Um, so th there was a common one, that one raises a fire fluff fluffalo, ice fluffalo, and so on. Thankfully I've already bought loads of eggs. Um, sorry about the text box, by the way. I can't get rid of it at the moment. I think in this build, you can no longer get rid of it. Uh, maybe that's just a bug. Maybe it's a permanent thing. Right, so I'm going to um, raise some Fluffalo up here. Uh, because I've got a nice little thing. This is my um, colony from a few episodes ago when we looked at quests and things. So, let's see. I have my egg. So do I just... What do I do? Just toss it? Place it? Okay, so just place them down. You have to separate them slightly. Yeah. I don't know how long these take, because I've never done this before. So it should be interesting finding out. The trouble is all my um, all my mates are going to open this bloody door and they're all going to escape and probably die. They impale themselves on that flag. Uh, okay, so presumably I just leave it now. Uh, Alright. Alright. <laughs> Right. Okay, in the meantime, let's go and sort out the whole mannequin situation. Um, thrilling times, yes. So, for this, for the mannequins, you need... Well, first of all, you need a sewing machine. Sewing machines are very simple to make. Um, you know, very kind of trivial start of game type thing. So I've already got one sorted out here. Uh, which we're going to put in this sort of house here. Put it over there. Uh, and... Ha! So, yeah, this can't do very much. It can... It can do clothes, dyes, and all this. In fact, it can do loads of stuff. But it can't make a mannequin. For that, you'll need to upgrade it. And you'll need to be at titanium level, which means finding a planet with titanium on it. Um, string and silver as well. Whatever. So, upgrade your spinning wheel. And it poofs into something cool. Now, we can make a mannequin. Um, however, we will need some timber. So, let's just quickly craft some of that. Lots of it. Lots and lots of it. Um, get on with it! <laughs> Blimey, a thousand timbers. All very useful. Now I can build mannequins! Let's build a bunch of them. I can only build three, apparently, because um, I haven't got much copper. But it should be enough. In fact, it's probably more than enough. Um, I think I might have actually quit it before. Oh no, I've got five. I think I already had some in my inventory. So, put some down. Creepy little things. Don't worry, they're not going to come to life. So what do they do, exactly? No, well, nothing. They just don't stand there nudely. But what you can do is place things on them. So, interact with it. Uh, and there's a nice little new box to do things with here. Now, um, swap gender doesn't really do anything. Well, <laughs> so, but what you can do is dress it with what you're wearing currently, which is um, um, some armour and some cosmetic stuff as well. So let's equip it with my cosmetic stuff. Doing. And I've been stripped of all my stuff. And it's now on the mannequin. There it is. You're looking good today. Um, and also, th this other one, I can put my functional stuff on it. And I'm nude! I'm also freezing cold. Um, because I no longer have my EPP on. Um, so I might actually want to get that back. Uh, we haven't really l um, explained PP e EPPs too much in these previews. Oh! There. <laughs> Oops, I started dying there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're just some um, things that you have to craft so you can cope with different environments. Um, but this one, this this snow planet needs a heating one, which I've now put back on my back. I'm feeling very nude at the moment. Mr. Bloody Nude over here. So let's see what else we can do with the sewing machine. Um, let's make some clothes. Ooh, so some, some suspenders. However, I haven't got the raw materials for this. It requires fabric and cotton wool. 
Oh, that's, this seems like a good time to use up my moth, moth traps, which we looked at very in, in one of the very earliest ones of these we do. They're all ready to harvest, and these have been going for a couple of nights. So I'll just grab all my silk fibre. Not very much, I have to say. Um, and turn it into either fabric... Well, actually, no, that's fabric that comes from fibre. And turn it into silk. So as much of that as we can. And maybe some make some of this as well whilst we're at it. Anything else? Probably not for now. Well, cotton wool, how about you do... Oh, I should have made some cotton wool. Oh. Okay, it just got slightly confused there, actually. Um, turns out um, um, the reason why I couldn't do cotton wool is because that's from cotton fibre, not from silk. Um, so that's um, that's that. Um, anyway, I've got loads of stuff now in my inventory. I've cheated some stuff in. Now I can actually make some stuff. Let's make a suspender shirt. It takes ages to craft. God damn it. Ugh. <sighs> I think I've got, I might have got loads of clothes back up on my ship, so I don't even need to do any of this. Um, let's just dress this thing. Why not? And... Isn't it beautiful? And so in this way, you can just fill up your mannequins with useful stuff as well as decorative stuff. So, for instance, if I wanted to put all my... Uh, where are they? All my various EPPs on these various things, for whatever reason, I could. Or I could just leave them in my inventory like I normally do. Um, and so on, really. I mean, I'm sure you can find other uses for it, but mainly it's just to reduce the clutter. And um, you probably want to put these on your ship rather than in this really crap wooden structure. But hey ho, um, I think I might actually get all my stuff back. I'll leave that one. Um, mm, yeah, this is my this is my armor, so I think I might actually want to use that. Um, which is the um, social slot? That one. Okay, let's uh, put that there and that there. Might as well take that off. There, now I am fully protected from stuff. Uh, huh. Oh god, I look all metallic and weird now. Uh, never mind. Right, okay, so that's mannequins, I guess. Oh, look! My fluffalos are ready. Uh, they look very small and cute. Thankfully, they don't seem to toss themselves off. Unlike most teenagers, I know. <laughs> yes. What's that doing there? Just, just licking them out. Okay, let's feed them then. So let's put some of this food... Poison pear. Let's put some of this in my inventory. Electric eggplant. <laughs> and frosty fig. Delicious frosty fig. And blazing berry. And ordinary acorn. There we go. So let's see. Um, let's see. Do I just toss it? Um, hmm. Eat. Eat your little pricks. Hmm. How about doing this? Oh, bloody hell! Oh, that's how you do it. So you just literally just, um, okay. <laughs> that was quick. And now we have a lovely little fluffalo. And that's a fire fluffalo, I think. So let's go on to, th let's, let's feed this one with a uh, frosty fig. Eat. Eat! There we go. Oh, it's a blue one. Oh, it's so cute. So am I using more than one up at the, on these things? Um, oh, just get out of the way. Right, okay. Wave, 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 wave. Yeah, I am just using one, um, one up when I feed it. So, flee this fluffalo calf and raid electric fluffalo, a good source of static cells. Ah. Finally, well, not finally, there's still one more after this. Um, do him. That's a poison fluffalo. And I think there's just some regular ones as well. If we can just find the bloody things. Probably not the best place to raise fluffaloes on a roof. Um, come on, get closer. Looks, looks like I'm rubbing them. Come on. Get rubbed. Nah, it's not it's not having it. Try you. Mm, is this right? Ordinary acorn, fluffalo food. Ah, peculiar. Not quite sure this is actually Oh there we go. So I think I actually did use one up. Or two up for that one. Uh, okay, so I have a full range of fluffaloes now. Um let's actually um finish off an excellent survival tool. Yeah, mate, whatever. And Maybe it's because it's in the doorway. Maybe they don't like to grow when they're in kind of like um, an area. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, that's the case. They don't like to be kind of in front of things or whatever. My God, look at this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> My first fluffalo farm. And I think that's it. You just have to leave them be. Uh, the good thing is about it, after a while... I don't know how long a while is. You can actually harvest them for raw materials, as you can actually see in the descriptions here. So, scorched cores, cryonic extracts... Um, static cells, venom samples, and just regular plant fibre. 
Um, so if you need any of that sort of stuff, well, good, I guess. I'm gonna, I think we're going to have to wait until these grow up a bit more so we can harvest them. Uh, yeah, because I presume you can't just harvest them all constantly. That would be silly. That bird has been in to get, my, get on my tits. So, magic wand. Actually, this is a staff. And... Hup! <laughs> gotcha. And for further details, see previous episode. Um, yeah. Right, some time later. Um, let's see. Hopefully, um, this is now... Um, enough time has passed for me to be able to harvest them. There we go! Moo! Yes! Oh, it's Harvest City time! Look at this! I'm harvesting them all! That's more like it. So I've got my Scorch Core, Plant Fiber, Venom Sample, and Static Cell. Um, I think I might have been missing one. But, no, I think, that's, I think that might be everything. As you can see, I only got one thing from each of them. Now I'm going to have to wait again for them to, um, to let me harvest them. What pricks? Just uh, opening and closing the door there. Yeah, so it's not exactly a great source of these things, unless you actually want to um, grow hundreds of Fluffalo. Um, if you really want to be a Fluffalo farmer, then I'm sure, you know, be my guest. Because otherwise, you're going to have to go to a variety of different planets to be able to get all the different things these drop. Right, so out of interest, uh, I'm going to see what's with these hens. See if they're actually um, in the game yet. Um, I think that's actually a work in progress graphic. Um, so... We'll see if hens are actually um, added to the game yet. This should be interesting. Oh, right. So I am. Um, I just that, that just looks like another fluffalo. Cool. Okay. So that's some um, a very quick look at fluffalos, mannequins, and well, that's pretty much it, really. Not the most exciting of um, additions, but fun though. All all adds to the colour of the game, um, and also it just allows you to specialise in the way that you want. So, as I said earlier, if you really want to be a fluffalo farmer, and so you don't have to go out and kill lots of mobs for these um, crafting materials, then go ahead. Be that farmer, you crazy fuck. Right. Okay, so thanks for watching. I don't know if there's going to be another preview episode um, or not, because there's not really much else to look at, but we'll see. Um, so, yep, so subscribe for more episodes of Starbound and various other stuff, and see you next time. Bye-bye.